Hello and welcome to another monthly unboxing of Hamster Mail. Speaking of the box, um, this is not my doing. This horrendous delivery job. I mean, I guess shame on you, UPS, FedEx, whoever delivered this. I forgot at this point. Um, yeah, this looks like something out of the very first scene from Ace Ventura when he's basically, you know, playing football with the box. So I'm hoping the contents inside are unaffected, but we're about to find out. Anyway, Hamster Mail, also at Send Hamster Mail on Instagram. They're also on Facebook and Twitter. Check them out. This is the only monthly uh, subscription box that I partake in. And I mean, it's not even really for me, obviously, it's for my hamsters. But they have amazing nutritional snacks, boredom, ba uh, boredom breakers, easy for me to say, chews, treats, you name it. It's super cheap. Uh, definitely check them out on social media. Check out their website, uh, Send Hamster Mail. They're totally worth it. I mean, super affordable. And uh, as you'll find out, they also have a shout out for each charity of the month, which is usually how I like to start these things off. But before we do, I have to shout out one of my best friends, Claudie. She runs the Westchester Rescued Hamster Haven. Check them out on Facebook. She gifted me my favorite shirt last year for my birthday in uh, 2020. Real men love hamsters. It's just a custom shirt that I love, so I have to rock it. Shout her out. All right, so let's see what we got. Oh, and this is the March box, March 2021. So, all right, this is a little banged up, but this is where they shout out the charity of the month. So they give you typically a quick write-up. You could check out the social media uh, for whoever the charity of the month is. That's how I found out about them. The rest, uh, the Westchester Rescued Hamster Haven was featured. She posted about them saying thank you to send hamster mail for the complimentary gifts they sent her. And then I signed up. So really cool cause. And we'll go through the whole thing, but there's a nice write-up charity of the month of it's the Popcorn and Binkies Rescue Haven in Manitoba, Canada. So they Res they partake in rescues, re rehabilitations, and they rehome the unwanted, neglected, and straw small straw stray small animals. All right, let's like redo the whole sentence. Popcorns and Binkies Rescue Haven rescues, rehabilitates, and rehomes unwanted, neglected, and stray small animals. Wow. I don't know why that sentence was so hard. Uh, anyways, they have rabbits, guinea pigs, rats, and hamsters. So definitely check them out uh, at Popcorns and Binkies on social media or their website, popcornsandbinkies.org. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I like to hang on to these. They're a cool little uh, you know, side piece from all the treats and whatnot. I like to put those in a little collection. All right. So in terms of the contents, please don't be banged up. All right, we have the trademark hamster mail yellow tissue paper. I love recycling tissue paper. At some point, you're going to have to put tissue paper in a gift bag, right? So this is never trash. I even keep these. That's just how I roll with saving money, I guess. All right. Oh, this is cool. It's got a pretty good size boredom breaker here. It's a Lufa Hula and it's stimulating fun for rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, all small animals. Yeah, so basically this makes for a good like chew treat. So, and I love uh, the ones that come with the hook because if you do have a cage where you can hook this on, let it hang, it just gives them something to go after, something to play with. I mean, you can easily just lay it out. That totally works. But I love the, uh, the toys that have the option of hanging them. Just give it a different feel in the cage or the bin, whatever you're using for your little one. We have another boredom breaker. We have nibble sticks. Uh, they've sent these before. My hamsters really did uh, enjoy these in the past. So these are good for them to gnaw on, keep their teeth healthy. Pretty cool, I'm gonna try these out. They typically go right there for the greens. And then we have Spring Meadow, a complimentary feed for hamsters inspired by the British meadows that start to come alive 
during spring with dandelions, nettles, and wild flowers. So this adds natural vitamins, minerals, and fiber. So check it out, cute little hamster on the front with bunny ears. I just noticed that. So yeah, it makes for the perfect Easter treat, as it's saying right on the front. And last but not least, Rose, also by Rosewood, shout out to Rosewood, it's a pet thing, Natural Roots Crispy Slices. So they take nutritious orange and yellow carrots, chicory, and celery root, then slice and carefully dry them to produce the naturally crisp and crunchy slices. So perfect for the little small animals here. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's got 70% carrot, 15% celery root, and 15% chicory root. Pretty cool. So another perfect box by Hamster Mail. So again, we have some nutritional treats. We have a couple boredom breakers. So one of my lucky hamsters will get this inside their cage. At some point, I'll probably just rotate this. These also make great for their play pens. At night, I put my hamsters in their play pens separately, of course. You know, toss in stuff like this. So besides their tunnels and their hideaways and, and whatnot, they have stuff like this to chew on, keep them stimulated. And it keeps it fresh. So I, I always get like a new border breaker every month or a new little treat I can throw in. So it offers them variety. Cause I always think to myself, whether it's dogs, cats, hamsters, like if they're always playing with the same toys or eating the same foods or the same treats, it's gotta get boring, right? I mean, we get bored, you know, eating or doing the same thing every single day. So why should it be any different for our pets? So I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm going to be uh, taking pictures, posting uh, on my social media. So yeah, definitely, as I've said before many times, I'll continue to sing their praise. Hamster mail, if you you know have small animals, rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters in my case and whatnot, um, check them out. They're absolutely worth it. Again, very affordable. They give you great quality stuff. My hamsters love them. So if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next unboxing. See ya.